Uh, greetings, Sagittarius, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all well, and let's dive right in and see what it is that we have for you. And at the bottom of the deck is the High Priest is showing up uh, to support this reading for you, Sagittarius. Uh, so there is something of uh, this inner wisdom, this divine inner knowing that you are being uh, asked to tap into at this moment. And this is what I have for you, Sagittarius, today. Will you come into the reading with a time of maybe evaluating your relationships, meditating on past uh, feelings in these three cups, uh, and then you are uh, maybe being offered a new way of loving, but you could be closed off, a little bored, apathetic, uh, feeling uh, kind of despondent in terms of uh, where to go, how to flow with your feelings. But there is this offering of the Ace of Cups coming in. And so it's coming because if you receive that cup, it's going to bring you this amazing fulfillment, happiness, uh, abundance, bliss. Uh, and you are uh, being asked now to let go of anything uh, that has disappointed you in relationships and receive the bounty, uh, this generational bliss around you, a happy home, a happy family, a happy friends around you. And you're going to come into that as you uh, fulfill this sense of uh, your inner bliss, what you really desire, what is going to really make you happy now. And it's coming with another cup, the Queen of Cups. Well, Sagittarius of the fire, there is a lot of water here. And you've got the Queen of Cups who is deep and emotional and sensitive and very uh, sympathetic to other people's feelings as well. And you have a lot of water around you that is purifying. And you are able to hold this cup. It has a top on it because you don't just share and spill your emotions everywhere. So you're uh, deepening how you feel about a situation, about maybe a disappointing relationship that you're seeing actually uh, miraculously, miraculously has become this blissful, uh, harmonious situation. Because you have gotten the guidance, you've talked to someone, you might be in therapy or talking to a counselor or just a friend who is very loving, but that support is helping you celebrate your harvest, come together with others in the recent past. And you lifted this cup up. You see, this is the three to the four. So these are these three cups you've lifted up and you're being offered now a new cup to uh, help you come into this uh, happiness, this bliss, this celebration. Um, after a storm, the rainbow has come out and you're celebrating this harvest and that was uh, influencing you from your past. Um, and it, the crown is the lovers. Well, this is Gemini energy. Uh, so it is saying that an important partnership is involved in this. Uh, some relationship that was very important to you, a choice you had made in love that was healing and you celebrated. But at some point, maybe it became disappointing and you wanted to get back to this uh, happiness, back to this sense of the rainbow. Uh, some energy is coming uh, that is deepening your feeling, your capacity to nurture yourself and to nurture others' emotions. And uh, you are coming into, uh, the crown is saying an important partnership is involved in this. And it's something that you are joining in with and uh, celebrating and, and being very blissful and happy you made this connection to this relationship because uh, what is coming now is uh, the Ten of Swords. Well, you have the Ten of Cups, uh, Sagittarius, and the Ten of, of Cups and to the Ten of Swords. So whatever this happiness is that has helped you get out of this despondency, this doldrum, this apathy, this feeling of being cut off socially and emotionally, 
you've done the work at the foundation. Uh, you have that sense of uh, nurturing, that sympathy, that understanding, that intuition, which led you to celebrate with these three cups. And now uh, you're seeing it is very much involved with a partnership that has been very important to you, Sagittarius. Uh, it's a Gemini energy. And you're going to uh, let this, whatever your mindset has been worrying, feeling betrayed, feeling depressed, being in despair, a feeling like um, your chakra system has been uh, severed. And so it's hard to flow uh, into this um, a potential a bliss, uh, the happy life. Um, after the storm, you're going to have this uh, sense of bliss, this happiness. And it's coming because you've got this amazing uh, partnership, this union, this divine uh, couple uh, that is very healing relationship for you, a Sagittarius. And you have celebrated it um, with friends, this deep ability to uh, be a listener, be a counselor. You could be a therapist or uh, a spiritual director or someone who is very deeply connected to their psychic abilities and their emotional understanding of how to share love and how to be generous with your feelings. Um, and it's coming with a celebration. Well, after this defeat, this despair, a new day is dawning, and you see the yellow is coming out here, and it's going to fully saturate uh, the way you're seeing uh, this um, new love offer. And it's coming in with happiness. And there's this couple you see here together. And now there you are celebrating this victory, this portal, this new uh, finish line that you come to. You could have been uh, joining another in a new home or a new connection, and that's expanding. And it's including, um, you know, others around you now. And you're going to see that people are there to celebrate with you. And it's coming because the Knight of Wands, well, you're... Um, energy around you from your environment that's influencing you is this bold, uh, cocky, a fiery, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, Aries energy that is coming in quickly with a bold uh, energy, daredevil energy, with some energy that is coming in just as fast as it might leave. So that is uh, something you're celebrating. But you have the confidence or the environment is very confident and very fired up about whatever this uh, energy that you're communicating quickly. And it's going to be successful. Uh, the archer, which is a Sagittarius, is sh uh, shot out from the um, bow, all of the arrows in the quiver. And look how they're flourishing. So with the Knight of Wands coming out with the help in your environment and the Eight of Wands, you're going to burst through uh, anything that has come to an end. So you can celebrate this new uh, situation, a finish line. Oh, you're reaping the rewards uh, of this partnership. <clears throat> and it's coming because uh, the advice or what has happened right in the um, now that you need to see is this crash quickly came in a communication about a situation that needed to uh, come down and there's that that couple uh, it was divine necessity you see how the lightning bolt is hitting that crown off of this structure that has been built it might have been the structure you built that you were celebrating um, and that was how you were seeing uh, this uh, disappointment in a relationship. And it's coming now because the tower is crashing. And this could be just a word spoken, a communication that came in quickly and boldly uh, where you thought you had come to a, a finish line, but it really actually led you to this defeat, this despair, this hitting rock bottom around an important partnership, a romantic relationship, or it could have been a partnership in, that you cared about deeply. Uh, at the foundation, it was a feminine energy that nurtured you, or you were very nurtured by this energy. 
And why is the tower here? It's because of some severance in a relationship, some heartbreak, some ending um, that came in the mind now. It's with the Three of Swords. You're thinking about this collapse, uh, what came in. Maybe you're thinking about the Ten of Swords and how to heal um, from this tower, from this collapse, from this restructuring. A difficult change happened, Sagittarius, recently, and it's causing you a lot of sadness, but ultimately, it's going to bring you this bliss, this happy home. Uh, and so don't worry, you have to just work through this process and let go of any feeling of despair, of feeling not good enough. Uh, that could have come in with this heartbreak and tower. Because often when a, something is restructured in our life, a situation that ends, we feel left out in the cold. We don't feel good enough. We feel like we don't belong or don't have what we need. But you got what you need to go fast, to communicate, to get the green light, to move passionately toward this new goal. And it's coming in boldly uh, for you, uh, Sagittarius. And this is Sagittarius uh, energy. You've got the fire here supporting you boldly. And it's going to be celebrated. That's how you're thinking about uh, this uh, sense of this new cup that's being offered after you look at these disappointing situations. You're moving forward um, to this deep understanding of what makes you happy, what is going to bring you this happy family, happy home, a children, a generational bliss that will be celebrated uh, and you'll reap that harvest. And it has to do with the lovers, this important partnership now. And it's coming in with a, a sense of letting go of any mental conflict where you're allowing yourself to feel infringed upon uh, and overthinking a situation. You're not that tightly bound and lift your blindfold because there's the castle here uh, on the hill. And that's this castle here. So you will break out of this and move toward the celebration. And that's coming in because of the chariot. Well, you've got this momentum with cancer energy uh, to use your willpower to move away uh, from any situation uh, that is known and it's not serving you. And you're taking your sphinx. Those are those ancient uh, riddles within us, those ability to tame uh, those instincts, but to use our willpower and our solar plexus to move toward our true destiny now. And uh, that is what's coming uh, for you at this time. And your new destiny is going to bring you uh, this deep understanding, intuition about what is really um, happiness for you at this time. And it's going to uh, be involved with a partnership, with a Gemini energy that you will celebrate once you receive that cup and move forward and pick up these three cups and celebrate that. And let go of any uh, disappointment that made you hit rock bottom mentally, uh, that was causing this tower, this restructuring, this clarity, this truth hit you. It's a blessing in disguise because whatever had been hurting your heart based on a divorce, a separation, um, a feeling not good enough, left out in the cold, um, feeling entrapped, imprisoned, in bondage, isolated, you're going to celebrate uh, this new rite of passage that is coming in quickly uh, with a lot of communication and boldly with this energy of momentum uh, to move quickly toward your new uh, destiny, which is true and right and balanced and is going to serve you so well. And you're going to move forward with that. And that's what I have for Sagittarius today. Amazing reading. And uh, there's some difficult change and uh, restructuring, but you're moving toward it quickly with a lot of flow and balance. And that's what I have. And thank you again, uh, Sagittarius, for all your support. I love you, each one of you. And your comments mean so much. So just leave me one word. I'd love to hear from you.
And thank you again and see you next time. Bye-bye.